Hello, all my lovelies. Um, I'm finally here to give my review. Um, sorry, it's been hectic, crazy. I'm sitting in the car line at school picking up my son just because my week has been so hectic and couldn't film right like I wanted to. So now I actually have like 15 minutes to get this done. <laughs> um, cause right afterwards I got to go home, cook dinner, you know, just normal mom life stuff. But I have decided to do Jersey Shore's Polly D and Vinny's Double Shot at Love. Um, it started last Thursday. The episodes come on MTV every Thursday. Um, I don't remember the time, but Thursday nights. So I'm sorry this is um, a little few days past what I wanted. Um, and But I'm finally getting it on. And you can review it, like it, share it, um, and watch. Hopefully you're fans too. I'm big fans of Jersey Shore. Um, he has... Polly, well, let me give you a little bit of background in case you didn't watch the other seasons. This is the third season, and um, Polly has found his love, um, Nikki, from season one. And they didn't stay together in season one. In season two, they kind of rekindled things, and it just went from there. And then, you know, she's been in with them, you know, making filming the Jersey Shore family vacation um, seasons. So everything's going good in his life and dating life right now. Um, now they're both of them are back to help Vinny find his love. Um, they start the season off with um, 17 girls. Um, a lot of them stayed in the background, so you couldn't really get a feel for their characteristics. And I'll get to that point in a minute. Um, I will tell you who my favorites are. Um, hopefully I can remember the names right. Um, Akila. She's my number one at the moment. Um, she's a registered nurse, just all around. She's beautiful. Um, the other ones that stood out, you know, they, they of course they give more girls more airtime than the others. Um, there's Peachy. Um, she seems pretty cool. Benny got along with her. He kind of had like a little moment with her where, if you know anything about him, he was like doesn't get along or doesn't really care for Staten Island girls. <laughs> um background so um she was talking to him and she was told him i'm from staten island he just kind of walks off and you know film editing and whatnot made it seem like it, he just walked off because she said staten island that wasn't the case he had a nosebleed but um so he comes back and apologizes for walking off and told that you know the girls that were standing there that he had a nosebleed he had to go he went to run to take care of it but um yeah, that was, yeah, Peachy. And then um, another one that stood out, Queen, which I wrote down when I was writing their names down, that she was a red flag uh, to me. Um, she not really stuck up, per se, maybe a little, but I think she's just been a lot through a lot in her life, and she is more no-nonsense. And I just don't know how well she's going to get along with those other girls. She put a tiara on her head and said she was queen. Um, she has a son. And there was another girl in there also that had a son. Knowing, or seeing, not really knowing, but seeing Vinny's personality and things over these last, I don't know how long it's been, like maybe 13, 14 years they've been on TV. I just don't know if he's a type that would be able to stick with dating someone that has a kid. Um, so we'll see how it goes for them. I think the other girl's name was Jasmine. She seems sweet, you know, laid back, reserved. Um, but I think she will, I don't know if she has a makeup handle either. Cause I think she's almost a little too, she seemed a little fragile. I think that's the word I'm looking for. She seemed a little fragile. Um, let me think of somebody else. Oh, there was a girl on there. I called her Lip Gloss Barbie. Oh, God, what was her name? Kayla. Same as my niece, Kayla. Um, she's very pretty. Um, she owns her own makeup line. She's just starting it out. Um, and I think that she'll be around for a minute. There was another girl on there. I don't remember what her name was at the moment. Um, kind of gave... Vinny a bad impression um she's into like the palm reading and tarot cards type of thing and 
Benny didn't seem interested. He said he doesn't believe in that at all. And it just kind of, he kind of shrugged his, you know, shoulders at it. So, um, there was a couple more red flags and I don't have my notes in front of me because I'm in the car, but, um, yeah, she just left a bad taste in his mouth, so to speak, I guess, but we'll see how it goes. You know, things change. Um, and there came a point in the episode where Vinny is time to do the cutting because they cut him on the first day, you know, um, and Vinny kind of walked off and talked to producers and we're left with a cliffhanger. Um, he does get to pick. I don't want to put any spoilers out. You know, I want you to be able to watch it for yourself and critique it with along with me. Um, so I would just say he does uh, get to choose someone for a coffee date the following morning, which will be tomorrow's episode. Um and I will just try to get these on as quickly as I can. Um, lock my kids out of the room and get it done. <laughs> um, what else was I going to say? It's just the start of the season. Like I said, um, this will be show two tomorrow. And that's what I just talked about now with show one. Um, season three of Double Shot at Love. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my little quick review. Um, this car line is about to start moving and hopefully um, this coming tomorrow's review that I will do probably this weekend, um, I will be, you know, comfortable with my selfie ring light <laughs> um, and doing it the way I want to do it. All right, guys, thank you. You have a blessed evening.